what's up guys welcome back to ride the bean today i am in oslo i'm staying a little bit outside of the city with a, a friend and uh, today i thought i would uh, give you a little bit of a coffee tour of oslo so that when you come to oslo you know where to get your coffee so let's go First stop on the tour is Ful Coffee Roasters. I've only been here once before, but I know they have really good coffee. And these guys have another place downtown and also a coffee roastery in Tokyo. So if you're ever in Tokyo, you should visit Ful there. Det går greit. Hvordan går det, Harald? Det går bra. Som du ser, så begynner det å bli litt lite plass. Vi har jo, altså, kaféen går jo mye bedre enn det er litt sånn. Alle nå har hjemmekontor her, i stedet for å ha kontor nede i byen. Og så har du, vi har jo cocktailbarn og klær. Så vi har jo backbar på hjul. Så vi kan liksom rulle rundt rommet. Så den står her borte når vi brenner, og så står den der når vi har cocktailbar. Tusen takk. Geisha. Hva er det du bør smake i barna? Jeg har nemlig startet en bølge i Oslo. Dette er en fantasik i Norge for tre år siden. Nå serverer alle det. Dette er altså... Nei. Åh, smutt. Det er de oppgitt. Det der blir bare en... Det blir noe helt annet. Det er ikke liksom kaffe lenger. Det er ikke... Det er bare en chill long drink. Ja. As you can see, this place is... It's pretty... Pretty cool. They have the roaster in the back. And the guy I talked to, Ludwig. He is the head roaster here. He's been working at coffee farms in Costa Rica. And been competing in competitions for years. This place is probably one of the best. Top three coffee bars. In Oslo, I would say. Tusen takk. Kaffe og annet som smaker godt og sånn. Hvem er det? Takk, det er veldig... Det er delikat. Floral... Herb-like. Det smaker nesten litt sånn... Løvetegn... Kjøp-aktig. Beautiful coffees. If you come here, they have all kinds of different things. You can, you can taste many, many different styles of coffee, types of coffee, cold, warm, milky. Today I'm going to get caffeinated. So that was Fulden Coffee Roasters. This is a little bit outside of the city. So now let's head downtown to Supreme Roast first. Is it hanging here? It's pretty good, pretty good. Sun is shining, hot as hell. Thank you very much for the video. What do you want to brew today? I think we're going to go for our new Kenya. We are brewing in Kenya, and the crux of the supreme Hotstein Artelson world champion brewing method is that we're always trying to keep the coffee saturated with water. We don't want that layer of just, you know, piss water laying on top of it, not really pulling out any flavor. Ikke så kraftig syre som man er vant med i Kenya. Veldig lite syre. Det er bare atypical Kenya, but really nice. 
show me your latte art skills. My latte art skills. We don't really do too much latte art, but we focus very hard on the, the kind of mixing it up. So our whole idea is kind of going in sideways and getting this solid mix of espresso and milk. If you do it right, you should get a pretty like specific type of heart. So we're going hard. It's not the prettiest kind of looking Instagram cappuccino, but flavor-wise, I can't really beat it. It's smooth and creamy, and it's espresso and milk all the way through, not that crappy layer of kind of cold espresso at the bottom. They also make their own ice cream here. Coffee ice cream. Soft serve with espresso inside and outside. That is good. I would definitely recommend Fizzling espresso ground coffee with rice cream. Also, gotta try the espresso. This is a Colombian espresso, uh, quite special. We refer to it as Bomba de Fruta, which is the name Nordic French has given the fermentation method they used. It smells amazing. Oh, that's really good. Wow. Pretty, uh, it's pretty in your that's face. That's a fruit bomb. <laughs> that's why it's called Bomba de Fruta. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for uh, the tasting. That was... You're not welcome at all. You're an absolute bastard. You can never come back. Thank you. Hi, Steve. Hi. Hi. How's it going? So this is my personal favorite shop in Oslo. Supreme Roastworks. There are a lot of good, good coffee places in Oslo, but personally, this is my favorite. All of them have good coffee, but in my opinion, this has the best uh, environment. I always feel happy when I walk in the door here. Now I'm headed down to another world champion, uh, this time world champion of barista art, Tim Mendelbo. His coffee is a bit different. It's, uh, it's very sort of delicate, more detail oriented. He's like super nerdy in the details of the, of the rolls and the flavors. And personally, I'm not a huge fan of the black coffee here, but the espresso is just amazing. It's uh, probably the best espresso in town. How are you going to do We have a little bit of a little bit of a This is amazing. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, that's very different. Both these espressos are from Honduras. They're different varieties. Katwa is a bit brighter, shorter in appetite, lighter. Java. A bit sweeter. Longer lasting aftertaste, plum and citrus fruit. So that was Tim Mendelbo. I don't really enjoy going in there. There's something about the atmosphere there that I personally don't really like. It's too stiff. I don't feel comfortable going in there. But the espresso is really good. So I would definitely recommend stopping by there to try their espresso. Now let's go check out another coffee bar called Java. It's connected to a roastery called Kaffa. Uh, roasts all their coffee. And it's also a really, really good, good coffee bar. And uh, it was one of the pioneers, I think, in early, the early 2000s, of specialty coffee in Oslo. Here they have one of those community gardens where people can rent a little bit of a, a few square square meters of garden space and they can plant flowers and crops and whatever they want in the middle of the city. It's a pretty cool thing. Har har du något spännande kaffe? Så har vi en kaffe på Lana nå som är er sina kaffe ser du? Eh ser vi samman kaffe för kvällen. Mhm. Okej. Väldigt gott. Tusen tack för. Det var så gott. This is Java Coffee Bar. Definitely worth a visit. They always have creative things, uh, and they also serve food. They have these. I think one night, one day a week, they have a 
like a special food menu. This is a very interesting sort of alcohol-free cocktail, coffee, coffee cocktail. Coconut and espresso. <laughs> Not something I usually drink, but uh, very nice <laughs> on a day like this. It's about like 28 degrees, super hot. This uh, piña colada espresso cold coffee <laughs> fits well today. Now, let's go check out another coffee bar. Started out at uh, Fuln Coffee Roasters. Now let's visit Fuln Bar, coffee bar and cocktail bar. They have uh, coffee during the day and at, at night they switch to a cocktail bar. It's a really really cool place and they also have a, like I said, um, a shop in uh, Tokyo. So they get a lot of Asian visitors because they're super popular over there. Scandinavian coffee in Asia is, especially Japan, is really really popular. So let's go check that out. Har du noe anbefalt? Kaffe? Det er sånn mest spennende godt. Det er sånn veldig nice kjøring. Hvordan kan du bruke kaffe har du ikke? Det er på en måte filterkaffe, men litt pittbikk, litt sånn pittbikk. Prøv da. Skal vi se hvordan det skal? Bare mye. Ha det godt. Another cold brew coffee. This is a Peruvian coffee. This is just cold, cold coffee. And they mix it with a little bit of vinegar, actually. That's interesting. You can kind of taste the, like a hint of, <coughs> hint of vinegar, but it tastes, it tastes really nice and refreshing. Now, let's go check out a place I have never been. They just opened like a month ago. It's the second shop of Supreme Roastworks. They just opened a new, new shop at uh, down by the pier, next to a, a Porsche dealership. I've heard a lot of interesting things about it, so I'm, I'm curious to see what it looks like. This is the town hall in Oslo. Are you There was a guy once who flew a plane between those two towers, just to see if he could do it. He he got in a bit of trouble. <laughs> This building is the Nobel Institute. This is where they give out the Nobel Prize. I don't remember who got it this year or last time. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good So long since then. Yeah. I thought I would visit you when I first came to Oslo. So nice. What do you have that is special now? Then we have a, as you can see, a very good filter coffee today. Fra bærtørka fra Nicaragua. Og så på espresso har jeg en økologisk fra Peru, fra nord. Ja. Men noe som er veldig godt også, hvis man liker enda litt mildere sommerkaffe, det er en filter tonic. Ja. Så du lager en iskaffe på denne filteren, og topper på med 1 cm med tonic on. Skal vi prøve det? Selvfølgelig. Ja. Nice. Kult. Keep on riding. <laughs> nice. Nice. Tusen takk. Det var interessant. Ja. Oh. Det er ettersmaken og sånn kamomillet te, nesten. Yes. Tusen takk. Takk skal du ha. Det er hyggelig å se deg. Sykt hyggelig å gjøre noe. Der er Anton. Han er fra en... Jeg synes det var neongrutt. Really cool, kreativ gutt. Han sa at han er åpning en ny kjøp nå. Nå har han bare denne vagen. Og han får sin kaffe fra Adrian. Samme plass der jeg får min kaffe fra. Så du må definitivt stoppe på denne plass hvis du... If you are in Oslo, keep on riding. <laughs> awesome. He's a he's a really funny, great guy. I've competed against him in uh, the national championship, and he beat me. <laughs> he's better than me. Hello. 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 Hva er oppskriften på din? Jeg trenger en rask espresso. 
Det er rett og slett bare espresso, og så anbefaler man alltid bitt litt grønn sukker, for jeg tror jeg runder den ut. Og så shaker den over is. Nice! So this is the new Supreme Rose Works. In combination with the Porsche. It's pretty cool. Kind of bit of a twist, but then it turns super sweet in the end. So I can forgot to do that. I tried it in the other shop, but with an espresso on top. That is super nice. Another shop you definitely should visit if you should come to Oslo. <laughs> so this was the new shop of the Supreme Roastworks. It's a really cool shop. Collaboration with Porsche. Porsche. That was the best coffee places, in my opinion, that you find around Oslo. So if you're ever in Oslo, now you know where to get your coffee. But before I end the day, I uh, have one last place to visit. It's a place called My Ugly Baby. They also have really good coffee, but they're even more known for their donuts. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Did, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to see where I end up next. And let's go get a donut. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Do you need a bath for you? Hmm? Do you need a bath? Uh, no. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> right, let's try the espresso. A bit dark. That's a pretty good espresso, but not as as good as uh, the other ones I've tried today. But let's try the donuts with popcorn and salted caramel. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Donut with popcorn. Definitely a good donut. This place is definitely worth a visit. 